if you have followed me very well, right from the time I was a member of Jonathan's economic management team, I have consistently maintained that we need to remove subsidy. Because for me, it's organized crime. People were just stealing the resources of the country. And that crime has to stop. And I showed my own position in empirical data to show that the amount of fuel we consume is totally far ahead what we are supposed to consume. I showed it in data, comparing it with countries like Pakistan. And it's very clear. So I maintained about this removal. And throughout my campaign, go and read my manifesto, I maintained about its removal. If you have a toothache and you go to a dentist, there's a difference between removing your tooth by applying anesthesia, which will alleviate your pain, and just pulling it out. The difference is that I believe it should be removed with conditions, and that condition has to be applied. If I was involved, I would have shown in empirical statistical data how much we are going to save, where we are going to apply it, the gains for the people, so they can. Just like I said all throughout my campaign, that I'm going to govern the people by being open, showing them empirically verifiable facts or how the country can be better, and everybody can follow it. Yes, so That's what I would have done. Yeah, a lot of persons are on the same page with you. I agree that the subsidy should be removed. Yeah. But the impact that it's having on the masses, especially, is the reason why a lot of persons are in support or supposedly in support of protest. So what, what are that, those conditions? That's, that's, what that's what I said. I would have, go and read my data. I said I'll bring back everything, fiscal viability. There's things you need to do. There's things you need to show. Even when Jonathan was removed it, that was when they came out with Shopee, all sorts of things. Yes, conditions. It's there. And I have, have shown, remember what I said, in verifiable and pre data statistically, what we are going to save, where it's going to happen, and everything. The reason why Nigerians are agitating about everything here is that when people say, let's go and suffer, let's go and sacrifice, they don't see the effect of the sacrifice at the end. But if you're going to do it, then do it in an organized manner where the people can see a verifiable plan. And that's it. I did a lot of similar things while I was governing Anambra State, stopping this to do this. But each one I did, I showed the people in a verifiable manner where we're going to land. Governance should not be supply driven, it should be demand driven. You govern with the people. Let the people know what you're doing and explain to them in a clear terms that they can follow and they will believe you. Thank you.